Hello everybody and welcome back. We are in the FW190 Dora. I have something interesting I'd like to try. We are out at Normandy. I've got the landing situation set up. I would like to try and see if we can do some short field landings. Get the speeds down. I think that means my gear's coming down. We're also really high. Just kind of what you want to be on a short field, but this is not going to be my best. Not by any means. The stick's almost in my lap already. Wow, we're slow. So, I'm going to have to give it just a smidgen of throttle on landing. I have to give it just a smidgen of throttle now. A little bit of breeze, I think. Get out the left window. Stalled it on. Hard on the brakes, not too hard. That was pretty short. How far out are we? Whoop. See what I mean? Don't get too distracted. That wasn't too bad. Oh, that wasn't bad at all. Nice, gigantic runway, but... Cars coming up. Flaps up. Short field takeoff. Oh boy. Gotta use some differential braking on this one. She just does not want to stay straight. Sticks coming forward. Woo! Squirrels. Girls, what are you doing? <laughs> Whoop. Gears coming up. Flaps are already up. There's two random guys there. Not entirely sure what they're doing, but we are going to circle around for another landing. Let's see if we can't grease it in again. That was actually not bad. So there were a couple things that made that a little more successful. We did, well, A, we have a little bit of practice with the three point. B, we came in really, really slow. We were only 200 Ks instead of the 250 that we were coming in at. And the third and final thing, well, let's not kill the engine. The third and final thing is that we came in at a really high angle of attack that let us go much slower on final. 300. Gears coming down. Fins coming out. Flaps coming full. One power all the way back. So, the thing that being high on final does is let you increase your descent rate and decrease your forward speed. So, when you come into the flare, you're already way quicker. Or you're already way slower. I believe we can come in even under 200 knots. Might be able to three-point it that way, but I kind of doubt that. Wow, we are slow. Oop, she's stalling. 180. The 200 is definitely the low end of even controllability. Like, even at 200, I'm having some significant trouble. Also, why would you guys line me up to come in and then have the other guys landing the opposite direction. So, here we are, we're set up, we're aiming for just shy of the runway actually. 200 knots, a little more juice, we want to maintain that 200, if we hit 180 we're going to stall. And we want to hit that pretty much right as we touch down. But we're short of the runway, we're stalling a little bit. Try the runway, cut power, flare. Sticks all the way back. Brakes are as hard as we can get on them without tipping the nose. That was as short as I think I can do. Wow, that was short. Almost dumped the nose there. How short was that? Whoa! Okay, that's short of even that. Don't hit me. 
I'm curious how far that is. I need to move. That guy's gonna hit me. Oh yeah, he had no plans to go around me. He thought this runway was his. Alright, let's go find a dirt strip and see if we can do that again. Under knots, sticks coming neutral. Airplane's leveling off itself. Flaps are coming up. Forgot about that. Slight back pressure at 200. Lots of rate. Gear's coming up. Let's go find a dirt strip. Something a little more challenging. Hmm. Now there's a strip. Backyard. Right there. I don't know if you can see it on the cursor. But now that is a landing strip. So we're going to come in. We're going to land from the from this side. Is there another good one over there? No, it's kind of a triangle. So we're going to land from this side. Oh boy, that one's going to be hard. Let's use a little bit of G to scrub off this speed. Find my landing zone. There it is. We're a little high. We're a little fast. A little bit of right. Gears coming out. Flaps coming full. Bottle's completely out. We're going to turn a little quicker. Not stall it. I hope. Not yet. That tiny little piece of brown grass is our landing strip. I don't even know if we can make it with how we're cur currently configured. Because we are really, really high. I know we need to be to clear those trees. There we go, now we're coming down. More left. I'm actually hitting my leg. I don't think we can make that. We are both high and fast, which is like the ultimate no combination. Going around. Nice and easy. Power to full. Kind of holding the horizon. You're coming up. We were just really, really high. Was not super comfortable with that one. So we are on the go. Flaps and gear are up. We're going to go around. Keep about 250 knots in our little micro pattern. I think that's the landing strip. Ah, that's hard to see. Could land sideways first. Wonder how DCS does with off-field landings. All right, that looks like our landing strip. I don't even know if we can do this. I'm certainly gonna try. Gears coming down, flaps coming full. Power's coming to idle. We are plenty high, plenty fast. Power's idle. I'm gonna bring it down to 200. Coordinate our turn a little bit so we actually turn. A little bit of juice. We're a little close, a little slow, stall. I don't know if we can recover that one. We stalled a little bit, so we might be on the go. Just turned in too quickly lost the runway there it is I'm probably nowhere near familiar enough with this bird to be doing this kind of stuff especially not low speed high stall ability powers out trees made it definitely cannot make the landing strip going around there's trees there nope torque rolling it <laughs> Uh, did not make that landing strip. Not at all. <laughs> Alright, let's go find a slightly bigger landing strip to try. I have no idea what the direction the wind is at, so that is unhelpful. I don't see any smokestacks around. We're under 300. Gear and flaps coming down. A little bit of juice. We want... 200. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. Oh boy, that's short. That's really short. <laughs> and the question is, can I take off over 
50 foot obstacle, also known as a tree. We're at 200. Let's go swing by these smokestacks, see if they're actually smoking. They're not. So no idea what the winds are doing. Let's line back up. Woo! Darren's well when coordinated. Let's both not torque roll it and not stall until we're ready. So we are a little low for where I want to be. Coordinate, get our speed down. Jeez, this is a hard landing. <laughs> I'm flying out the side window. A little slow. A little more juice, a little more juice. The idea is we basically want to flare, like, at the trees. I'm aiming for the trees. Oop, a little short of the trees. Need to clear those. Power's idle. Farmhouse. No, cannot make the field. Uh, can I get out of the field? <laughs> Jeez, these trees are presenting a giant problem. Just staying in the pattern that I made up. Those pre trees present a serious problem. How do I get over the trees? Because I think I can land in that distance. Just, I need there not to be trees. Those are like the bane of this landing. <laughs> so I need to come in at a higher alpha. Maybe we'll come in behind the power curve. Which means, essentially, we're going to be partially stalled, power on, high alpha. We're just gonna see how that goes. So we're pretty close. About where pattern altitude would be if we weren't messing up everything. I'm unfortunately hitting my leg, which means we're not getting great deflection on the ailerons. And when you get slow, you need a lot of input. Power's out. We're basically going to come straight down. Not that straight down. Here's out. A little bit of a slip. We're really trying to lose that speed, and I don't know if we can. Screaming over. Just a smidgen. Stalling. Brakes. Nope. Nope. We're in trouble. <laughs> Well, not what I was hoping for. Landing was a smidgen harder than it should have been. Alright. Another go. Alright, can't see it anymore. We need to come in behind the power curve. Hopefully we clear those trees. And manage to land. A little bit of slip. A lot of bit of slip. Okay. Straightening out, a little bit of power. Holding it off. Nope. Oh! Why do I feel like that was a farmer's field? That could be our problem! Alright, let's go find a soft field instead of this plowed farmer's one. Alright, let's go find a nice green field that we can pretend we can land in. That's a giant one. All right, first off field landing, we're gonna do a giant field. Huge amount of right rudder, slipping it in. Pins are up. Can I slip that in? And we're doing 200 going almost straight down. I've even got my leg out of the way on the left. All right. Let's straighten it up. A little fast. Looks like there's some furrows in there. Flaring, flaring. Bouncing. Bouncing pretty bad. I don't know what's up there. Trees? Oof. 
This simulator does not like off-field landings. Like, that was violent. Well, I guess we have to go find a real airfield. Could probably do it, but this thing is just hard to land off field. Okay, that's the runway ahead. I'm gonna give it some power. Move our stuffs up. Make sure we don't die while we're doing this. What's your length? My length: forty-five, sixty-one, thirty-five, thirty-eight. 38, 38, 31. You could go to Benny. It's 31. That's pretty long, actually. It's the one I'm going towards. 37. 34. Is there a short one? Not really. Benny's pretty much it. 31. Let's go find Benny. See how short we can put it down. Benny. That might be Benny off to the left. Fly with my knees here for a second. No, Benny should be straight in front of us. Couple S turns. So there's another option. We could always land on a taxiway. Come on, pull some more G's. We're going too quickly. Pilot's feeling that. Gear's coming out. Flaps coming full. Couple more G's before we touch down. We are incredibly fast. Let's throw a little slip in there. That taxiway could be fun. Right for a three point. Nope. Covering into a two. Alright. Going around. Woo hoo hoo. What was that? I think I just almost torque rolled it. Working on my stopping at the end of the runway, apparently. Well, that was weird. Get her straightened out. We can take off the other way. Because it's that taxiway that we pointed out on the way in that I really want. Little differential. About lined up. Full power. Neutral stick. Letting it climb. Alright, which one's a good taxiway? That's short. Let's land on that. Nice skinny. Terrible place for a landing. Let's land there. Gears down. Flaps coming down. Might be able to land on a road. This thing just... I think you're better off belly landing it if you have to take a field. Just, it does not like to do ooh, ooh, too many G's too low a speed does not like those off field landings just I wonder if the tires are just rocks or something okay we need a little more setup time apparently full power just keep rolling in the G's come out on the power trying to maintain everything just squirrels just a full bag of squirrels we don't have any obstacles to clear this time. Goal's going to be 180 knots. There's 200 on the approach. Oh, that does look short. 200. Put it down right. Oh, well, we're a little short. Cannot see it. We're over it. Oh, we're a little right. Yeah, we missed. <laughs> So that's why they do three points. I have to try this in the P-51, because I just cannot get this thing. Whoop. Almost broke it. Well, 
we technically landed in the allotted space. I'm gonna go neutral stick. Let's get going forward. Go neutral stick. See if this thing lifts itself off the ground itself. It does! So all you have to do is point it in the right direction, go neutral stick, and it will lift itself. 200, give it a little back pressure. Not much, just a little. We'll ride that 200 all the way up. So I think the next step is to try and land that three point, or the two point. Just, that's the only way to see where you're landing. And these tires on this thing are just absolute rocks. Cannot get any cushion, absorption. And all the bounce is just from the tail oscillation. You hit, the tail comes down, lifts you straight back in the air. Super unhelpful. Alright, power's out. Gears not down. Coming down. Flaps full. Speed's a little low. Alright, we're gonna do a 200 knot. Sustained. Three point landing. Bounced it again. Can't tell if I'm coming in too quickly or too slowly. We have to work on those three points. I don't know how you can do. I don't know how you three point. Sorry, two point. In a door. Uh. Fortunate set of circumstances. I don't know if you can two point the door. Let's try this in the Spitfire. I'm curious how the short field and off field landings compare in a Spitfire. Uh. Anyways. Thank you guys for joining. Landing in this thing, short field is way slower. You come in at 200, stall about 180, versus coming in at 250, stalling, let it ease out a bit, and then touching down about the same point. About 180, you just have to keep it off a lot longer. Much stabler approach at 250, though. Anyways, thank you guys for joining. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and we will see you guys in the next episode.